Oh, it's gotta be dog. Hell yeah. You have to dog. I'm your biggest fan. Dog came crashing through the plaza, knocking over walls, and I think he's looking for Alex. He seems to have it set in his head that she's in the <laughs> citadel. I figured Alex wouldn't want him getting any deeper in trouble, but hell, you try stopping him. Hey, dog! Not there! You can't get through that way! I'll be damned. I think he wants you to go through, Gordon. You'd better hurry. And if you see Dr. Breen, tell him I said. <laughs> I didn't remember that part. Our benefactors. Uh huh. So what am I doing in this situation? Okay. A slow step down on rocks is usually half life's way of saying, come explore me. Don't expect any combat for the next minute or two because this is kind of turning into terrain navigation. Stopping every now and then. Did I just start going backwards? I should probably be more careful. Trough, dead end, and somewhere to go. Oh, I forgot about my flashlight again. Gun time. Big enough, it could be gun time. Sound was in Half Life One. The 
here already? I have not. Okay, there's a little platform here. That's what's happening. Ultimate, and I guess I'll do this to go on. Put yourself in a little matrix coffin. What's happening? Is Gordon trying to struggle? Or is it just physics? was in the dream sequence at the beginning of the game. Freeman, don't worry. It's not gonna overthrow your entire citadel. And there's a gunship being made. Get more pods. And this is a key portion of the game. I remember this. All right. Can't move. So they took all my guns. These are all the ones that I got from the combine, basically. Alert. 
I get exactly what it does for me though. That's what it does for me. That's me hitting left trigger. So, this is Dr. Freeman. At last. I wish I could say this was a pleasant surprise, but it's neither a surprise nor a you sure it we were pleasant. Well, I have nothing if not pragmatic. Okay, so left trigger looks like it behaves the same. Always curious to see if it would. Whoa. That's new. Yep. I can pull and then shoot guys. So, yeah. I complained, but this is pretty much the only weapon I need. Top me off, please. Oh, it gives me health, too. Come here. The primary trigger has a fairly short range. Just like... Well, Dr. Freeman, under other circumstances, I'd like to think we might have been able to work together in an atmosphere of mutual trust and respect. Certainly judging from your brief tenure at Black Mesa while I was its administrator, you showed every promise of becoming a valuable and productive contributor to the scientific process. And yet, I'm not sure what spurred you to it. But there is really no place in this enterprise for a rogue physicist. A rogue physicist? Like, am I going to do math problems at you? Oh, yeah. I don't need to switch weapons. I think what he's getting at is that there's no room for... a violent beacon of hope. If it was a rogue physicist... Work something out. Hey, not about those. These things are the same thing that, uh, um, The soldiers, well, the alternate fire for that thing I was calling the assault rifle. So if I pull this out, that's no longer powered. And so the wall goes down. When that one goes down, I think it pulls one out of. Uh, maybe it doesn't do it on its own, but I can do this. And then shoot it in there, and that goes back on. Alright, so give me that. Hold on to it for a little bit. Yep, here it is. So it's just pick the way you want to slaughter people, because you can pull them in, you can short range blast, and you can do this. All of them will lead to great measures of success. Gimme. Your 
mentors are partly to blame. Of course, my disappointment in Eli Vance and Isaac Kleiner is far greater than my sorrow over your unfortunate choice of career path. In a way, I suppose you could not have done otherwise. Who knows what seeds of iconoclasm they planted when you were young and gullible. But while they certainly share a great part of the responsibility for the recent troubles, it is you alone who have chosen to act with such willful disregard for humanity's future. Switch. Gravity gun.
destroyed so much. What is it exactly that you have created? Can you name even one thing? I thought not. This power stream is slightly different. here and if it's a dead end I'm gonna go back and try and float. Dead end. Not yet a dead end. Okay, this is probably it. I have laid the foundation for humanity's survival. And not as we have narrowly defined ourselves, but as something greater than we could ever imagine. Something we can now only begin to glimpse. on this side. Okay. If my brother was dead, he'd be rolling in his grave.
Kratos. I haven't played all the way through episode 2 yet, so... Maybe it's explained somewhere in there. Take him from here. Don't struggle, it's no use. 